So when I lived in France, um, we had this uh, American that was staying with us, and uh, there was one night where we just finished dinner. She in France is like a six-hour affair, so we just finished dinner, and I ended up suggesting. only like one thing on French TV at any one time um, even with like 50 channels the film that was on at that particular on that night was uh, the film Taken and so I said to her it's I said it's, it's it's Taken is on and she was like and she said that she had been told specifically by her university and by other students that had been to France not to watch Taken <laughs> Which I think is a, probably a good idea, because it's a film about this young girl uh, goes to France from America to have a summer of, you know, French things, and then when that happens, she gets kidnapped by an Eastern European gang, all sorts of, like, naughtiness. But of course Liam Neeson comes in, all guns blazing, uh, and, uh, and saves the day. Um, the reason why they get told not to watch it is because that's Hollywood laying it on thick. Like, <clears throat> that's a, that sort of thing doesn't happen. Like, and if that sort of thing did happen in the States, there would be uproar about it. Um, so it doesn't happen. So, they get told quite sensibly, don't watch it, because it'll put all sorts of ideas in your mind and make you afraid, which will always be at the back of your mind that when you're kind of like you know going anywhere or chatting to anyone or meeting new people as you know is one of the real positives of uh, international travel is that one thing that will happen is is that you will end up thinking that everyone that you meet that everyone that you bump into will be into the old human trafficking and that's obviously not a good thing because it'll, it'll blunt your experience. So, the one thing that got me is that when all of this started around a year ago, all this pandemic business, instead of not watching films about viruses, everybody decided they wanted to watch a film about a virus. So people said, oh, have you seen Contagion? Oh, have you seen this? Oh, have you seen that? Oh, have you seen the other? And see, films like 28 Days Later, right? Here's the thing. I understand that these films, they're there to lay it on thick, but they're not an accurate representation. This was never going to be the virus that wiped out humanity. Thinking about 10 years, Maybe we might see something that will be far more challenging, but I think honestly bacterial infections are far more likely to do us over than uh, bacterial infections that are resistant to antibiotics actually are far more likely to do us over than any kind of like pandemic. But people got it in their heads that this was going to be the case because they'd watched the films that lay it on thick and present a fictitious set of circumstances. The world's still turning. Uh, <laughs> you know, and that was the thing, is that people, I think, engaged a bit too much in media, and that is part of the thing that helped contribute to the huge overreaction that I've seen about this. But, you know, we're on the way out of it now, so maybe it's just wise to take a lesson for next time.